On this episode of Trapped in TV Guide, pranks inspired by the mega hit Seinfeld and sci-fi series The X-Files. See what happens when aspiring male models are tricked into playing dress-up in Seinfeld's classic puffy shirt. I'm going to be interviewed wearing this? Yeah. Plus, the truth is out there. But will any of these unsuspecting shoppers find out that they're trapped in our X-Files inspired prank? Her whole eye is black, like her whole eyeball. Okay. We got one. We got one. Stay tuned and find out. It's all coming up on Trapped in TV Guide. Classic TV moments and reality collide. You just got trapped in TV Guide. When a hillbilly comes to buy your place. When you adopt orphans from another race. When you cross dress with your roommate. You're trapped in TV Guide. Oh. In cars, Boston bars. When classic TV moments and reality collide. You just got trapped, trapped in TV Guide. Welcome to Trapped in TV Guide. I'm Tracy Gold, a.k.a. Carol Siever from Growing Pains, and this is the show that takes classic TV moments and turns them into pranks. How will people react when they realize that they're stuck in a spoof of their favorite show? Well, let's find out. First up, Seinfeld has become the biggest sitcom of all time, with the cast landing themselves in one hilarious situation after another. One of the most memorable moments was when Jerry accidentally agrees to wear a horrible, puffy shirt on the Today Show. He's there to promote a charity event, but his shirt got all the attention. Now, Trapped in TV Guide wants to see how these model wannabes deal with being asked to wear an absolutely appalling shirt for a photo shoot that the entire country will see them in when it's published in Giant Magazine. So, Kira will lead the Trapped team, pretending to be a fashion stylist with a flair for fluffy shirts. And everyone else at the shoot is in on the prank. Except our unsuspecting aspiring male models, of course. This is a prank inspired by Seinfeld that we call Jerry Rigged. Feeling good? Everyone's doing good? Hello. Hi. What's your name? Nathan? Hey, Kira. Hugo. Hugo. Yes. Oh, Kira, good to meet you. I'm the stylist. Okay, so let's see. You're my model, right? Yes. Oh, fantastic. Fant- I'm the stylist. Okay. Yeah, I'm working with Elaine, our photographer. We have two other guys, just regular guys like you, that we have shooting with Elaine right now. So come on over here. Um, we've already had a guy do like the surfer kind of guy and the regular like shopping on Melrose. So for you, because you already have like some action here in this front shirt, it's inspired me to put you in something that I designed. Oh, I made this myself, baby. You're gonna die, you're gonna die. You ready? Bam! Wow. Huh? Sweet, it's a Pirates of the Caribbean shirt. Pirates of the Caribbean? What's that, what do you mean? You got anything okay. else in there? Ba-bam! A little pirate out there? <laughs> Bam! Oh yeah, <laughs> okay, cool. No one else was willing to put it on today. Really? Yeah. It's just because I'm a little hairy right now. I didn't shave or anything like that, so. But I didn't shave either. <laughs> Is that my only option? There are no other options needed, my friend. I made this for you. <laughs> I love it. It's a little feminine. You already have ruffles right yeah, here. Yeah, but this is masculine ruffles. You could pull this off like in a coffee shop or like a diner or in a comedy club. Do you know what I mean? Like anywhere. So you with me? Sure, all right. Okay, you're excited? Oh yeah. I love it, okay. Right here, right here, baby, are you shy? Oh my gosh, I've seen nipples before. <laughs> Slowly, preferably. Slowly, preferably. <sighs> oh my God, peck alert, whoop, 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 whoop. Wow. Wow, all right, I feel like a dirty old lady. Whoa, when you said you didn't shave, you were not kidding. Oonga boonga, huh? Yeah, Captain Caveman. <laughs> it's different for me, because I'm not used to wearing a baggy shirt. I mean, I'm used to working with professional models, so you're different for me too. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have like three hairs here. Yeah. I have more chest hair than you do. Yeah. So let's button this up. Maybe. Yeah, button it all. Your neck is little and petite, so it fits it. Sorry, do you mind? I'm like touching your abs. It's all good. Whoa, whoa. Sorry. Let me know when you're done, my goodness. We just met. Okay, there you go. 
Yeah, look at the ruffles, see? It's kind of like right where your six pack should be. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. You need some help? Because I'm what professional. I'm professional. Make sure these are always fluffed up, by the way, okay? If you can keep them fluffed, I don't want them to get limp. Mm -hmm. Elaine, Nathan is ready, and he's feeling great. He's ready to holla! Uh. That's great. I know. Doesn't my shirt look perfect for him? Chilling, man. Chilling, bro. Isn't he elegant, like a gazelle? You know what I mean? Like a regal gazelle. Kind of, yeah, right yeah. Oh, dude, that's yes. great. That's great. Oh. Oh. Look back at me. Yeah, yeah, baby. Do like a giant chant, G-I-A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's Give me like this, like, what's the deal with these guys? What's the deal with these guys? What's the deal with these guys? I just won a hundred million dollars. Yeah, I'm a rock star. Yeah. Rock star, baby. yeah. Right. Can we get Brooke in here? Oh my gosh, I love your shirt. Do you like it? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. It's horrible. <laughs> Were you joke? Were you guys having a little? He said he didn't like it either. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, I'm just not feeling it, really. Okay, okay. Just, just trying to clarify. I'm sorry. I'm a stylist, and we're all crazy. You know what I mean? Like that's a. <laughs> sorry. Oh my God. I'm so sensitive. Later, unsuspecting shoppers secretly become the stars of our X Files inspired prank. She's definitely not from here. I know what my mission is. My next step is to swap. You just got trapped in TV guide. The puppy shirt now has a home in the Smithsonian with such classic TV props as Archie Bunker's armchair and the Fonz's leather jacket. Let's get back to the prank that we called Jerry Rigged. So we'll take a little break, okay? And then we'll have someone come and interview you for Giant Magazine, okay? I'm gonna be interviewed wearing this? Yeah. Now you do know that this is gonna be seen in 12 million subscribers and you're, you're comfortable with that shirt on, right? Yes. Excellent. Tell him what you said earlier. What did I say earlier? You remember. Um, it, it reminds me of, of something off the Pirates of the Caribbean. Wow. No, that's, <laughs> because that's not what you said earlier. What did that's not what I want in Giant. Yeah, I, w I want you to strike that from the record. That's not what I want printed in Giant. It looks like a shirt you'd see on like a sitcom. From the sniper looks Um, Nathan. <laughs> Please defend my shirt. There's one similar to this in one of the Seinfeld episodes, yeah. A little what bit. What do you mean? Probably has a little bit different ruffles, but um, it's similar. I'm confused. It's a great show. What Seinfeld episode? Where he makes him wear that shirt on the TV show. What? Yeah. Yeah, too. What episode is that? I don't know, episode 45? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And no one else wanted to wear this shirt, and I have no idea why. But. You, you know what I mean, you were totally comfortable. Well, and Jerry was comfortable too. Yeah. I feel like I'm in the wrong place all of a sudden then. What are you talking about? I designed this, this is original. No, 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 not this, this exactly. I don't understand what you're saying. You're saying that I stole this from? No, not, not at all, no, no, no. Okay, so where were you going with the whole Seinfeld analogy? Well, he makes him wear this shirt on, on TV, and Jerry doesn't want to do it, but he has to because he's in a bind. He made a deal with a friend, and he has to wear the shirt. He feels like a jackass. Oh, so he had to wear the shirt when he was seen by millions of people on a TV show? Yeah. And he was embarrassed? Yeah. Kind of like you right now? Kind of. So you're making like a correlation? Yeah. But you're not in a sitcom. So? I mean, you are on a TV show. Because you're trapped in TV Guide. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. I knew something was off and I couldn't pinpoint what it was. What? What gave it away? Well, the shirt, for one. 
I just got trapped in TV Guide. I just got trapped in TV Guide.